Hello friend, hello friends. So here we go with a projection of solids, uh, number 47. Okay. So here what it says, uh, a exhydron of 30 mm side is resting on one of its corner on HP such that one of its uh, solid diagonal is perpendicular to the VP. Okay. So draw the projection of the solid. Okay. So here uh, one thing to be noted down is uh, exhydron. So uh, an exhydron is nothing but a uh, a cube okay so a cube of 30 mm okay it is resting on a corner on HP okay so here yeah, now inclination but uh, instead of that one they have specified a, a solid diagonal okay so what is a solid diagonal we will see once you draw that one solid diagonal is a perpendicular to VP okay so this is in the third one so second position it should be made a parallel to the x value okay so this is the first second and a third one okay so here to start with the we'll have x value and vp and hp okay so a cube resting on the corner so corner means you just have one a vertical line just a vertical line okay so from this end just keep the protractor at the end take a 45 degree this side and 45 degree this side okay so now join just with a thin line like this now with a compass it's a 30 mm just cut from the reference point just to make sure that it cuts on the same arc okay, just check it out it will be on the same point so now join this one with the dark line hmm. okay so this diagonal you just drop a thin leg so this is how exactly it is visible so just to drop the naming just drop it here with the projections closed filled arrow a square symbol and a 30 okay so this center anyhow here uh, we have a solid diagonal so no need to mention the center also so as already we know a cube is nothing but we'll be having a two squares one above and one below so for the above we'll write a b c d and the below one you know it's not visible we'll write one two three and four okay so once that is done you just take a projection upward okay so any one point take a 30 mm okay so here we have a corner from this side so through that one the line will be visible to us okay just like this and then join all the three so like this okay and the bottom line like this okay so already as we said so this is corresponding to the 1 2 3 4 and this face corresponding to the a b c d so let's say like a here it's a 1 dash okay so here 4 and 2 so 4 dash 2 dash and here it's a 3 dash so same thing here c dash okay so here it will be d dash in the bracket b dash and here it will be a dash okay just to write the naming just complete this one it's a 30 okay so now here 
so the solid diagonal is the one which connects from left bottom to the right top corner so this is what is solid diagonal we say which connects from 1 to C okay so in order to make this one parallel here okay parallel so what we'll do is so we'll drop a just a diagram okay so from here to here like this okay then we need to measure the angle from here to here okay and angle from here to here so this is a 90 degree okay so now once we measure this one angle we can just measure here okay so we'll get around 55 and 35 okay so this is 55 and this is a 35 okay so now to reconstruct here we'll take this is this point that is a three dash three dash and we'll just drop one perpendicular line just we'll drop a one perpendicular line the first thing what we'll do is we'll take the angle that is here we need a 55 so we need 55 so 90 minus 55 it's a 35 okay so you need to take a 35 here so that we'll get a 55 in this one okay so here we need a 35 so we need to take a 55 from here okay hope you are getting here see we need a 55 we need a 35 that is 55 to the right side and 35 to the left side so if we need a 55 here okay so this line here this angle should be 90 minus of that angle so we have taken 35 now just drop a line through this thing okay so now we have taken 35 here so this is 55 we have taken 55 here so this is 35 okay so if you want you can just mention the angle here. so this is 55 and this is 35 okay so one that one is done so from 3 to 1 so from 3 to 1 to the right side and from 3 to C to the left side okay now just check out here so this is our 1 dash and this is our C dash make sure that so these two will come on a horizontal line you can just check okay so now this line is parallel to the XY line okay now just to reconstruct we'll take a 1 to A from 1 We'll cut an arc this side and A to C. It will remain from 3 to C also. Just cut one arc. Okay. Now just connect. Here to here. Okay. So this is C dash, so this is 1 dash and this is a A dash, okay. So in between that one, so we have one more line, take a reference from here, one here and one here. So it will pass through the same point, you can just check out, okay. So here, so this is the diagonal, this is the diagonal which we made perpendicular. So this is 4 dash, 2 dash and this is D dash and the b dash okay so this is how exactly reproducing this one is needed okay so what we did we have taken one diagonal here one diagonal here so we made this one perpendicular and we measured the angle here this is, this is 55 35 by keeping a reference point we took a 35 angle here and 55 angle from here okay so that we can get a reverse of that one that is 90 minus of that one here and here okay so one this one is done so take a right extreme and the bottom most okay so next in which way the number of projections are less you just drop that one first so your horizontals are less so you can see this is one okay so this is our a is on the same line so this is a 
okay so next 4 and 2 okay so this is 4 and this is a 2 and 3 okay so you can just check out so D is on the same B is on the same and 3 is on the same line and last one is C okay so now once we get this one you just check out 1 2 3 4 and A B C D okay so you are viewing from here as uh, the rules of place the face nearby is A B C D so A B C D will be dark be careful while connecting the points because sometimes so only while taking the projection itself you just make it dark okay so now the resting corner the resting corner from the resting corner the two lines which are going will be dotted that is 3 to 4 and 3 to 2 so 3 to 2 and 3 to 4 will be dotted okay so once this is done so you just go with the boundary 1 2 3 4 and then from here to here and from here to here okay so now when you see from the top a to 1 is visible so a to 1 is visible but 3 to c is at the bottom so 3 to c is not visible to you okay this is how exactly you can draw okay simple so when you see from here a b c d a b c d dark okay then trace the boundary then look a1 a1 so visible so c3 invisible okay if you get any doubts you just see which are the points are going to connect so a to the one so you just see a to the one c to the three c to the three just like that okay so now this c to one is parallel now it should be perpendicular okay so you just measure c to one so it is coming around 54 just take a 54 okay so we are we are going to move just like this so this is our one this is our three okay so now this line and this line almost i think uh, equidistant that is a 20 and 20 so now 20 and 20 which will lie parallel okay so we just uh, drop a 20 and a 20 okay. just drop two parallel lines one line and one more line okay now with the taking a reference okay we just go on cutting the arc now okay so one to two okay so we are moving here so two will come this side just see one to four so it is with the same so one to four we just go with the naming also two and a four okay so sorry this is c okay so now from c so from c you just measure d and b both the same so from the c just cut two arcs okay and the remaining is a a so you just take a one to a so from one you just cut a okay so now what and already we got so see here we have a d here we have a b here we have a a okay so so a b c d is a dark this is a boundary and one to a visible and okay 
so we missed the point three so we need to take a c to three so this is a three okay so this is how exactly we can reproduce okay now to take the projection uppermost and rightmost okay. so here just we have a three lines you just complete that one one two and three okay on the three so we have here it's a three dash so we have a, a dash so next B and D just check out this is our B this is our D so this is our C okay so one will come on the same point so here we have one also So two and four. So here we have a four, and here we have a two. So here we have a three. Okay. So once we see from here, okay. So now again, B C D. So A B C D. So A B C D. First thing. So next trace the boundary so b to 2 and d to 4 and 3 to 4 and 2 to 3 this is the boundary okay so now 3c is here only so 3c will be visible just draw okay next remaining thing is 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 so 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 are here so we are here so that is invisible just have a dotted line okay so next we have 1 to a that is here okay so that is also invisible okay so this is how exactly it is visible in the front view okay so this is how exactly we can analyze so once we visit some from here so a b c d so you can see b c d so a b here so make that one dark now trace the boundary now see one two and one four is here beyond that one so that is dotted okay and next here so already as we said you just apply the mercy symbol like this okay if three are connecting three will be dark okay if three are connected three will be dotted unless otherwise it's a boundary okay so now see here so these three lines so this is a dotted these two are dark because these two are a boundary okay so if you take it here all the three are dark all the three are dark so all the three are dark so if you take it here from the c c to a c to two c to four that is here it is coinciding with a one also one two one four one a so all the three are a dotted line okay you can just apply and check it out and one more thing so if you have any dark line so above that one there will not be any dotted line okay it is something like this if if you can see this finger this finger will be invisible to you like this okay so once you draw any dark line so below that one any line is visible be any line passing through that one means it's a dotted line you can apply that theory also okay thank you